talking, but it's this guy <laughs> from Malaysia, and he's saying that like usually he gets like 200 to 250 ping just on like a normal server. Uh, which would oh a witch. Uh, with a shell kroner. Oh, where? Yeah. You want to get this on recording? Just stand there. Oh, a that was a, that was a fail spit. Let me just catch on fire first. No, 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 that's a bad idea. That means she'll go for you. Yeah. If I crown her, then that means I get a, it's a one hit kill. Go what? ahead. Boom, headshot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got, um, I started getting into first person shooters, well, as I said, but when I was seven playing Unreal Tournament. Yeah. But that was just basically offline all the time. I never I never dared went go online with it. <laughs> because I knew I knew my parents would kill me if I told them I'd been online with it. <laughs> yeah, I've basically always kinda like first person shooters just because... I don't know, it, it's kinda seemed like more realistic to me and I kinda like the realistic feeling, but Yeah. I don't know. There's a damn sick scene here if you want it. I'll take in a pipe. Yeah, um, but I started. Yeah, I really started just to get into online gaming when I was maybe about 12, 13, when I started playing Call of Duty One, which is the uh, one that the consoles never got. Yeah. Which was a super bonus to actually be able to taunt, and there's another tank, so well, you might want to go back and get that Molotov. <laughs> oh yeah. Or I thought that they did come out with Call of Duty. They came 1. out. They did, but it's for the um, Xbox Live Arcade. And uh, they've only called it yeah. Call of Duty Classic, which yeah. is not a real representation of it, to be honest. Yeah. I don't know. Um, as I said in my uh, Rainbow Six Vegas videos that I've been doing, the very first one was the tank, first tank, game tank, that tank, I tank. ever played online. Just, I don't know. That was the big, or I don't know. The game that I had whenever uh, I first got Xbox Live, so that was pretty much the way I got into it. And that was oh, why did I do that? But that that was a good game to start out with yeah. online first-person shooters. Did you ever play that game or? Um, not online. I did have Rainbow Six. I think it was just uh, Rainbow Six Two oh, yeah. uh, for the PlayStation Two, but. Because of the, all the complex stuff you had to do to get it online, I just played it yeah. offline and sucked completely at it. <laughs> yeah, I was not very good, but I mean, it was just fun because I was like 11 or 12 and I don't know, I was just messing around with me. And none of my friends had that game, uh, but then back then, not very many people had Xbox Live because it was kind of new. Yeah. So. I don't know, and then I think later that year, my friend, um, that I moved, like, the year I got Xbox Live was, like, a year after I moved from where, like, I had my best friend, uh, pretty much ever, uh, and so, he got Xbox Live after me, and then we just played Koch 4, nah. so, yeah. Well, after our, after my first introduction into the world of first-person shooters after a while, um, I started buying other games just, you know, to try them out, so... Yeah. Um, and the first Valve game that I bought was Team Fortress... No, no, it was the PlayStation 2 port of Half-Life, and then I bought uh. the, um... And then I bought oh, Team yeah. Fortress 2. And Team Fortress 2 has been the best first-person shooter that I've played ever. Wait, what? I was kind of zoning out. That... What? Team Fortress 2? Team Fortress 2. It's got to be yeah, the yeah. best shooter that I've played. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's... I don't know. It's just so fast-paced, but balanced. And, uh, and, none of this, just... and none of this crying and whinging due to a single weapon being used by everyone. Yeah. No, it's just like... a single weapon being used by every single class. Or every single person who plays that certain class. <laughs> yeah. And if you know how to play it, it's easy to right. counter every class, so it's not like... Yeah. Well, I, yeah, when I play Team Fortress 2, I'm generally assigned um, as medic. Yeah, yeah I kind of just... I, I just kind of like 
yeah jump around between classes <laughs> i don't really have like a favorite one yeah that's what i do i do what the situation requires me to have yeah. so if i if a team desperately needs a medic and i'm on that team then yeah i'll go play medic but if they've got maybe two or three medics then i might consider playing soldier or demo man yeah like if I just join a lobby in session, I'll kind of just go soldier just because that's like the basic class. Yeah. And so I'll just see that and then see how my team's doing and all that stuff and then I'll switch accordingly. Yeah. But as a, as a fallback class, I play medic mostly. Second being engineer since well, I can play a fairly decent engineer, especially with the mini sentry now. Oh yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really play engineer that much just because... I don't know, I like to be up in the action and stuff, and I feel like engineers kind of lay back. I don't know. Well, if you use the um, the combat mini sentry with the gunslinger, you really have an opportunity to be in the front line with it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of... I don't know. I'm not used to that kind of style of play, I guess. Ow. That was dumb of me. <laughs> Sir. It's a cool tank, and I was ooh, what's this? Uh, and then I shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> but I um, I got Left 4 Dead 2, um, I think it was December 2009. And I got it at, um, in my money, it was 20, 20 pounds. Yeah. I think that may be a bit, maybe 50 bucks or something. And... Uh... Yeah, probably like 45, 50. I don't really know. And that was when there was absolutely no DLC for it. Yeah. And, I, I and I still enjoyed it. Huh. Yeah, like uh, how many like campaign little mission missions did it come with? Like, because I know didn't they add like a bunch um, of just? It originally came with no mercy. No, no, it didn't come with no mercy. It came with Dead Center, Hard Rain, uh, the Parish, and a couple of others which escaped my mind at the moment. But it was four, four original ones, and then the first DLC, the Passing, came out. Oh yeah. Then it was the Sacrifice, which included this lovely map which we are playing right now as a port. And also the sacrifice itself. Then it's the Cold Stream beta map, which technically oh, yeah. isn't released yet, but it still counts as a DLC because we can play it. However, yeah, those Xbox users there, who might be watching, you don't get it until Valve fully release it. But Valve and they got to pay for it. Yeah, and they got to pay for it. But they also, um, they also, uh, they said that. It will be released along with the rest of the Left 4 Dead 1 campaigns. Hmm. Which is quite good, so you'll be able to play Death Toll and all the rest of the ones that you remember from your favourites. Yeah. Uh, and Left 4 Dead 2, which means you get this lovely gun right here. The grenade launcher. <laughs> Chainsaws Ooh, nice. and other forms of it. <laughs> yeah, I got... Left 4 Dead 1 about a year after it came out I just rented it and I don't know it was a lot of fun but I mean there weren't that many people playing it just oh, because yeah. it was on console and it was a year late so people didn't really pay attention to it anymore yeah well that's but. why you um oh that's why um that's why I prefer to play on PC because games never really die. Yeah, like there's just people that always play the same game on PC no matter what, just because I don't I don't know why, but I like it that way. Like you can pretty much always get into a game yeah. if you want. I mean this this has been out maybe three years now. And it's Yeah, that sounds about right. And it's getting still getting DLC. Yeah, and pretty constant patches and updates or whatever yeah. you want to call them which this is what that's what valve does perfectly is uh, support their games until the better end pretty much ever that's it's basically why i got into pc gaming as well is because the lifespan of games increased dramatically when you play on the pc yeah i mean there are still people who play the original call of duty 
And really? It, yeah, they still play it. Jeez. And they've modded it so it has like weapons from Call of Duty 4 in it. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let alone you can play normal, where you've got all the German and Russian weapons and all that, and yeah. you can still play... You can play modded with lots of different things. I mean, you ever yeah, could, all... you ever wondered where the Nazi zombies came from in Call of Duty Five? <laughs> it's all based... mod in Call of Duty One. It's all based on mods. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think last or last weekend I was playing uh, zombies on Call.